Welcome to this short tutorial on creating a watermark in PaintShop Pro. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the process for creating a script to add a watermark and then look at batch processing. First, from the file menu, select Script, Start Recording. From this point forward, any commands that I access within the application will be recorded as part of the script. From the image menu, go down to Watermarking and select Visible Watermark. In the Visible Watermark dialog box, you'll see I have the option to preview on image, as well as load the image that I want to use. I'm going to select Browse, and then Browse to the image that I want to use. Typically, we're going to use a PNG file. PNG file will support the alpha channel and allow for transparency. I'm going to select Preview on Image, and here you can see my watermark in the bottom right-hand corner. I have the ability to select the placement, either tile, center, or corner. And in the corner options, I have the, the ability to select the four corners. I can control the size, as well as the opacity, and emboss. I'm going to set my emboss to about 50. I'll click OK to this. And now, from the File menu, I'm going to go down to Script, and then to Save Recording. I'm going to give this a name. I'll simply call it RW. I'll click on Save. Now that we have our watermark created and our script created, to do a batch process on a series of images, from the File menu, go down to Batch Process. And in the Batch Process window, the first thing I want to do is I want to browse to the images that I'm going to put the batch processing on. I'll go to my folder where they're located. And here's a little trick. In this folder, these are the images I want to add a watermark to. I'm going to right mouse click and select New Folder. Now I'm going to select the images that I want to apply the watermark to. Click Select. Under Scripts, I want to make sure I have RW selected. And when we create a script, they're basically in this folder in alphabetical order. It makes it easier to find. One thing you'll want to do is ensure that you have Silent Mode selected and then set the type of file format I want them as, as well as the destination folder. I'm going to click on Browse, and go to the folder that I want to put these in. This is the folder I've just created. I'm going to click OK to this. And now it's simply a matter of clicking on Start. Very quickly, very easily, I've been able to create the script, do a batch process, and now it's processing and adding a watermark to these images. Once it's completed, simply click on OK. And now if I browse to where that folder is located, you can see that all of my images now have a watermark on the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you for watching this video on watermarking in Corel Paint Shop Pro.